The H's and T's are a way of remembering the causes of a reversible cardiac arrest. For this video, I used the ACLS website as a source. The H's include hypoxia, hypovolemia, hypothermia, hyper or hypokalemia, hydrogen ions, meaning acidosis, and some sources also include hypoglycemia. Causes of hypoxia include airway obstruction, anemia, asthma, COPD, and hanging to name a few. Hypovolemia is a fairly common cause of cardiac arrest, which can occur due to hemorrhage, extreme sweating or diarrhea, and severe burns is another potential cause of severe hypovolemia. Next, we have hypothermia, defined as a core body temperature below 35 degrees Celsius. Risk factors for hypothermia include alcohol or drug use, exhaustion, illness, injury, or neglect. Then we had hyper or hypokalemia. The normal range for potassium may change between different labs, but usually it is between 3.5 and 5 millimoles per litre. The commonest causes of hyperkalemia include renal failure and drugs such as ACE inhibitors, angiotensin II receptor blockers, and potassium sparing diuretics. As for hypokalemia, the most common causes include GI losses like diarrhea, or drugs such as diuretics, laxatives, and steroids. Then we have the hydrogen ions, meaning acidosis, which can either be respiratory or metabolic in nature. Hypoglycemia doesn't have so much behind it, I just included it in the list anyway. Okay, now for the T's. These include tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponade, toxins, pulmonary thrombosis, i.e. a pulmonary embolism, and cardiac thrombosis, i.e. coronary heart disease. These are the main ones, but some sources also include trauma. Tension pneumothorax features a buildup of air in the pleural space that causes a shift in the mediastinum and obstructs venous return to the heart, which can result in cardiac arrest. Clinical signs include a trachea shifted away from the side with the pneumothorax, unilateral breath sounds, jugular vein distension, as well as signs of hemodynamic compromise, such as hypotension or, of course, cardiac arrest. Cardiac tamponade is when the pericardial sac becomes filled with fluid that then restricts the movement of the heart and leads to a compromised cardiac function. Toxins to rule out include benzodiazepines, opioids, tricyclic antidepressants, local anaesthetic, which is rare, beta blockers, and calcium channel blockers. Pulmonary thrombosis, or pulmonary embolism, is the most serious clinical presentation of a venous thromboembolism and mostly arises from a DVT, or a deep vein thrombosis. Cardiac thrombosis, or coronary heart disease, includes acute coronary syndrome and is the most frequent cause of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. I haven't gone into too much details on each of these, but the idea of the mnemonic is to provide an easy way to quickly run through the potential causes of a reversible cardiac arrest in order to find and treat the cause in your particular patient. 